All right, I'm finally gonna do this. <laughs> it's been like three or four months. I said I was gonna show you the, the, the Vista menu on your Linux machine here. Um, so this is the new version, and it's much stabler than the first time I tried this. So I, I recommend, yeah, you, if you want to use it, you can use it now because it's um, it's not as buggy as before. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Okay, you know you have your Vista menu here. Uh, it looks pretty pimp. You know, just like uh, the the old school stuff. See, and uh, you can click, you know, here, and you have all your games and all that. Right, hit back. Same stuff, but um, after you install the PPA and all that, yeah, since this is an applet for GNOME, you have to uh, add the applet, add to panel here, and you search for uh, Gino menu. This one, okay. Gino menu, and just add it. And you should see like an icon like this, All right? And if you want to change some preference in here, just uh, right click on that and go to preference. And in here, you can do some settings here. Uh, you can change the themes around. Now, this is the themes for the menu, okay? So they have different themes here, like um, I don't know XP, some even KDE if you wanted to go KDE, but uh, don't really see the sense in that. A black this a black XP uh, I don't know what the hell but uh, you know you can go old school with the XP one right <laughs> um, so that's that I'm just gonna leave it as a Vista for now and this one is the icons right here you see this icon here that is this so you can change it around uh, as you know Ubuntu logo or something if you like but I, I prefer the gnome button that looks nice and here is the the icon, uh, you know, packs. They have a few. Uh, maybe I just leave it as Vista. And that's pretty much it. That's all you gotta do. Um, now in the preference here, I recommend uh, unchecking this one because this one is um, you know how in Windows you push the the Windows key or the super key in Linux, and that thing pops up, and that is annoying on Linux because. Uh, you know, if you're using GNOME Do or uh, maybe some Compiz effects that use the the super key, um, this thing you you have to disable it because it's annoying to have that on. So uh, just uncheck that and and that be that and leave everything else by default. Okay, that's pretty much it. But if you wanted more themes, because this one is like mainly you know for themings. Okay, so you can download more themes here and they'll take you to. Um, gnomelook uh, dot org. Uh, you know this this program is uh, very big on on themings because they even have their own section here. See uh, geo menu, and just shop around for what themes you like. Uh, I'll I'll recommend using um, you know from September two thousand nine and up since this is a new version. I don't know if it works on the old one. I haven't actually tried it, but uh, basically install it is uh, you know download it and. Um, go back here where the themes are and depends what, what you download and just hit install and it should be good okay you know just hit the install and browse through the, the, the files that you downloaded and install it uh, that's pretty much it you know let's see here and after you apply the changes <clears throat> it, it will all work uh, to your liking I guess uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll post the PPA. Uh, if you want the Vista type of menu, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, so that would be it.